Hi Aquarius, welcome to your November 2020 tarot forecast. So this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to be looking at what you need to know for the month of November. So messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, all right. <laughs> Uh, something that feels like an uphill battle, Wheel of Fortune, there could be a message coming in, um, the end of a stalemate here, messages coming in that you could be defending off or feel defensive about. You could be waiting 8, 9, 10, you could be waiting for a cycle to be over, you could be waiting to feel not so defensive about something or overworked. We'll see if they show up in your reading. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Aquarius need to know for November 2020? Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus need to know? <laughs> Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Aquarius? Yeah, so we have Devil. Mm, an overemphasis on obsession or addictions. There could be a bondage situation here. Feeling like you can't break free from something. Could be a Capricorn individual or 10th house. Um, social status, hard work, limitations, restrictions. Uh, messages for Aquarius. Someone raising Venus for November 2020. All right, guys, let's get out your Celtic cross for you. some partnership anxiety about the future, about a long-term investment here. You could be internalizing some sort of conflict around a competition. Look at all these pentacles. Okay, so you're inundated with pentacles and wands. This is, wow, and even more. So this could easily be a work or investment or even body and health reading for you. Um, obviously, it can be a love reading. It's a general reading, right? But um, yeah, and here there is also an element. Um, so we're looking at Libra, we're looking at Taurus, we're looking at a lot of Venus. So what do you love? Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck here, guys. So a really nice victory, standing out, getting accolades here, feeling popular, feeling attractive a lot of wands for you as you can see we have the six the two the five and the page and then you have a lot of pentacles you have the sixth three the page the knight um you have a little bit of emotion a message of love over here but yeah two pages two th oh wow no three pages well what's that about three pages groups of young people Groups of young people could play a major role this month for you, but nonetheless, we're looking at our six here, bottom of the deck. So overall energy for the month is just really coming out on top, feeling confident, feeling like there's a sense of victory here, like you've accomplished something. Here with the situation is uh, partnership anxiety. It's a new direction. Um, it's very exciting. There is definitely movement in this direction, but it's, supported or challenged here by the king of pentacles so if this is with a taurus individual or with a venusian individual so if you're you know if you're aquarius venus for example i would treat this like obviously treat it like a love reading but um this person or energy is about possessions moving into what you possess what you possess, who, what possesses you, and vice versa. Um, so partnership anxiety here could have to do with, you know, a choice around this person, long-term, probably mature, um, or sign individual, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but tip, technically, this is Taurus energy, or second house. That's why I'm saying possessions. And valuables, right? Also investments. So who are you moving ahead with and is it toward the same goals? I would say, you know, just make that very clear with each other what those goals are so that you're both on the same page. Here at the bottom of the, uh, sorry, in the foundation is the five of wands. 
Um, and this is a little bit of conflict, but it, it's positive. It obviously leads you to the six. I would say if there's someone outside of your environment who's trying to get your attention here, and there's a back and forth and there's a little bit of conflict, but you're just getting back just enough to stay put or just enough to be happy, I would demand more at this time. I would definitely demand more. Make it known exactly what you need to be happy here because this struggle at the foundation here is, it's conflict. So something's unclear about what it is you need or want or the direction that you wanna go in and what you're willing to give and take because crowning you is the Six of Pentacles. I do see this typically as I mean, it's kind, there is a generosity here, but there is this element of like just enough, like you're just giving just enough or someone's just giving enough back to you. There is this sort of sense of, and like I said, we do see that we went from the five over here to the six, so there is an element of victory here. Um, but I think you want a, big, a better return for your investment. So what are you investing and how much time and energy are you investing? And then are you just getting the minimum back? So here in your recent past, the page of wands in your near future is, did I have that right? Yes. <laughs> um, the three of pentacles in your near future. So the page of wands is actually really exciting. This is really good news. This is loyalty. There's a lot of um, life and energy and effervescence. There could even be some flirty behavior here in your recent past. And again, Aquarius, this is nice because you're going to want this in order to move ahead in, within a partnership. And it's nice also in your near future to see the three of pentacles, okay? Um, especially in relation to this Libran energy, to this marriage or relationship or partnership energy here, right? So you get to slowly build on something that is exciting. A lot of excitement led you to this direction. Here's where we're into an even more gorgeous pentacle energy in the position of how others see you is Virgo energy, right? So this is your habits, this is your routines, this is what you're investing in, long-term investments. And moving slowly, this person is really happy to move, move slowly here or this energy is slow moving, but it's built to last. So how others see you is that you're gently and slowly trotting along but your investments are really worth something because you want like this is the castle at the end of the day right and this is almost like this is the house at the end of the lane <laughs> so you're definitely building up to it because that's your goal especially within a partnership even if it's, you're making a pact with yourself to move in this direction and then how you see yourself is the page of pentacles so this is a gorgeous abundant creative um, expressive and very sensitive, right? I would say the Page of Cups up here has um, wants to provide a note of love or has love in their heart, but this is like affection. This is real. And there could be an offer here, something tangible, um, like a creative project or a creative output. Um, how you see yourself as someone who can create a lot right now, who has a lot of creative potential in a practical sense, something you're going to do um, with your hands, your voice, like I said, back here with that Venus energy. Um, could even be gift making here as well, but something practical. You could also be dealing with actual children. I know I said groups of young people, but there could be literal children in your environment this month. Uh, earth, air, and water sign children. Your hopes and fears, Libra energy, right? So we have justice in this deck. It's technically the strength card. So the strength is saying you have to temper your own emotions. Somehow you have to get a grip on your own emotions here and not control a situation and not control outcomes and not control other people because God forbid anyone try to control anyone else. No one really wants to do that. Um, some people think they do, but they don't. It's a burden. And then with your outcome or advice is the Page of Cups. So this is just a soft heart. This is a message of love. This is being able to have a soft heart in a cruel world. This is being able to you know, provide good news. There could even be an offer of affection or I, you know, in the craziest sense, it could be an offer of uh, romance. It could be even an offer of engagement or you're hearing about the birth of a child. So what am I gonna qualify here? I would like to know more about what this message of love is, what this offer is. Qualify.
these just flippy floppy. Hold on, guys. Can we qualify the Page of Cups for Aquarius November as the advice? Qualify the Page of Cups as the advice for Aquarius. Wow. Okay. So huge transformation. So, wow. And then we have all the, and then we have another Page of Pentacles. And then we have, wow. So I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck here. Another page of cups, page of pentacles again. We have the empress, which is a more Venus energy. We have strength again, okay? We have temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, which is the alchemist. And then death, as you know, jumped out. So you're wanting this, you're wanting this message or this message that's coming in that could be a creative outlet or a message of love. Um, or possibly a proposal from the heart of some kind is going to change something permanently. This is this offer is supposed to change something permanently because there's a death around it. I think as a general sense, it could be also read that I can't even say that it's going to be rejected. I don't see a rejection. I see this offer changing everything. It's the death of the old it's going to trans that offer or that communication is going to completely transform everything probably around a partnership it's a really positive reading overall guys really positive reading um i would be really clear about what it is like I said at the very beginning here, wow, um, what you want, what you need, what you're willing to give, and what your boundaries are. Because there's a lot of practical energy here. There's a lot of slow moving, but practical, solid energy here. But this is just about you, and this isn't about love, romance, or business. And this is just going on in your own heart, in your own mind. You stand to... You stand to make a lot of money this month or save or invest um, either a lot of money or make a very, very wise investment, particularly in the first week of the month. I would get a second opinion here. Um, but yeah, very positive reading for you. And then we'll just get Wisdom Oracle and do your oracles. Yeah, that offer at the end of the month could be highly transformative. You know, another way to read it too is to say that this is what you're saying. It may not be coming into you. You're saying it and it's going to end something. But it's not like sudden. It's something that you knew was going to end. So love yourself first and flirt. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think something that we get tied up in sometimes with partnerships of any kind is we get stoic and we get wrapped up in the daily routine back here with like habits and stuff there could even be stuff creeping in from the past um you know if you try to stay light and you try to enjoy what's right if you try to enjoy these light moments these sweet moments it's going to be really important and then dreams and music you could be dreaming of music you could be um there could be specific you could be waking up with music in your head i would go and investigate that um Music is also harmony, right? It's considered harmony and it's related to second house energy and then dreams is related to 12th house energy. So something having to do with the elusive, with the underworld um, and with your speaking voice and um, actual music. You could be creating music here. You could be dreaming of creating music or there's a lot of creative energy here, guys, with all of these pages and then dreams and music here. You could be a songwriter. You could be actually writing a song, performing a song, developing or engineering music at this time. 
Uh, it could be, even be a dream of yours that you could bring to life this month. Antelope is action. Antelope is act asking that you just make a move. Make a move and stop being so terrified of everything. Um, and then here and now, right? So you are here. All we ever have is the present moment, guys. Um, I don't see really any, there's no swords here for you. There's nothing difficult in your own mind. I'm so pleased to see that for you. So stay in the moment. Stay true to yourself. Remember to stay light. Enjoy the little things while working toward the big things here. Partnerships of all kinds really do seem to be equalizing or entail equilibrium here. So there doesn't seem to be an enormous upset. Like I said, back here with this message, it does appear to be like... <laughs> I mean, we're seeing that page of cups twice. It could be that this changes everything. Something that happens at the end of the month changes everything, even if you had plans <laughs> here. Um, but I do see it as a positive message, and it could have to do with a relationship, um, certainly with a younger water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. So that is your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one for your sign. Bye for now.